What's up, Girl Scouts? Thank you so much for coming and joining us on part three of five for the Brownie Bugs Badge. Now, I'm getting ready to head outside here in just a little bit to check out bugs in their natural environment. And while I want you to enjoy this video and some of the fun things that we discover, in order for you to complete step three, you are going to need to go outside and check out some bugs for yourself. Now, I would love for you to send us comments about uh, different bugs that you find or different behaviors that you're seeing, and always make sure that you go about it safely. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit more about that of safely discovering bugs in their natural habitat in a responsible way. But before we even get started, we always have to start with the Girl Scout promise and law. So go ahead and raise your hand for the Girl Scout signal. Okay, you know, I thought it would only be fair if we were discovering bugs in their natural environment that you guys kind of saw me in my natural environment as well. So we're starting in my cabin, but we're gonna head outside here in a hot minute. So feel free to join along. Hey Girl Scouts, I was getting ready to go outside and see if I could find some bugs for us. And um, you're not gonna believe it. There's one that's right on the edge of my door, just outside. I am certain you've seen this bug before. It's called a crane fly, but a lot of people think it's a huge mosquito. So let's take a look. Check this out. So this is a crane fly. You can see that it's got six legs. You can see that it's got its wings. Check those out. That's one of the ways that you can tell it apart from mosquitoes. You make sure that the wings on these, they actually have the lines on them. You can see it's got the head and it's got compound eyes. Let's see if we can zoom in here just a little bit. So I'm putting my hand up next to the crane fly so you can see to scale about how large it is. And they are fairly large. They do look like large mosquitoes. And a common myth is that they actually eat mosquitoes. They do not. They survive on nectar, which means that they are important pollinators. They are not harmful to humans. They're very, very peaceful. Uh, they just wanna chill. This one's been hanging out on my door. So we're gonna leave it right where it is and not disturb it. I'm not gonna lie to you, Girl Scouts. Um, I love researching about bugs, but there are some phobias that even I have to overcome. So we're gonna take a look at some bug homes and some of them are gonna be really fascinating and some are gonna be really cool. And I hope we catch some awesome behaviors. And I've got something I wanna show you and I'm gonna do my, my bravest and my best. Uh, everyone's got their own little things that they're afraid of, but you know what? Sometimes we just have to face it and maybe we'll learn something. So let's check out this home for these bugs and these insects and we'll see what else is there. I am here at the rug. Now this rug has been out here. This is where I wet my feet. Um, but I'm certain that under this rug, there is a whole bunch of stuff that's going on and we're gonna get an opportunity to see it. So something you wanna make sure of is that you understand that there could be all kinds of things under this rug. Uh, and you wanna be prepared for that. So we're gonna make sure that we treat it safely. But you know what? I noticed right next to the rug, we have a cicada. Check that out. Check that out. There's another one there. Don't even make it out your front door sometimes. There's all kinds of stuff that you can see. Okay, so we are going to flip this rug here. I'm gonna be very careful. I'm gonna lift it away from me. Look at this gorgeous snail. what I always like to call a roly-poly. Check him out or her out. 
and we have a wolf spider hanging out here. It's a very large wolf spider. What else have we got? Oh, look at that snail shell. And there's another wolf spider. This particular wolf spider has a sack. Check that out. So right after this, I found something that's right about my threshold when it comes to worms. I saw a worm bobbing or bungee jumping up and down in the air and I found out it's an inchworm. So I needed to get a piece of paper behind it to help my camera get into focus so I could observe its behavior a little bit better. Let's check it out. So this is commonly known as an inchworm, but when I did some research on the black head and the green body, it's an oblique banded leaf roller or a lepidoptera. And if you remember, lepidoptera are like moths and butterflies. So this is one of the maturing stages. This is a defense mechanism that they have that they drop themselves down from the trees on silk to get away from predators. And it's climbing back up. That's what it's doing. It's pulling from the top and creating a tiny little ball. You can almost see it there from the silk as it makes its way up. I thought that this behavior once I saw it was so fascinating. And if you want a next picture of your Lepidoptera, check out this personal art I did of a new Lepidoptera species. Okay, that was actually a really fun little bug field trip or a little insect field trip. And there was nothing that I came across that really started me. I was prepared for everything because I knew that I might see something skitter every time I, I moved a leaf or my rug. Uh, there were so many things that I found out while I was looking at bugs and insects because I was looking to see what kind of markings does it have, looking at facts about it. And the more you find out about the natural world, the more interesting it's going to become. So Girl Scouts, go outside, go on your own little bug field trip and check out some bug behaviors and find out why are they doing that. You might be surprised too. So until next time, make sure you come back for part four of five in our brownie bugs badge. See you soon.